Hey there, it's Tom Corson, the Authentic Ho Health Coach, and I'm here today with my mom, Dr. Candace Corson, and we're going to be talking about artificial sweeteners and the dangers of artificial sweeteners and some great alternatives that you can take control of to help uh, take your health to the next level. So here, here we go. Well, you know, a lot of people are used to drinking things that are sweet, and what I love to share, the human body actually just needs water for a drink. I think we've heard that a lot. Um, but we can transition to that pure water with drinks that are not bad for the body. And what we can do if we need something that's sweet is we can use something that matches with nature. The artificial sweeteners are actually not good for you, and they're actually harmful. And these include things like aspartame and things like um, Splenda. And not talking bad about any particular brand, but these are things that are called foreign to nature. Uh, in medicine, we call them xenobiotic, meaning foreign to nature, and they really are one more toxic burden for our liver and the rest of our cells to deal with. It's hard. It gets in the way of the body working right. It's actually not just a minor problem. It's a big problem because it happens all the time, and it adds to the other thousands of chemicals that our body is already unhappy with. So if people need something sweet and they're not wanting to do sugar, which that has its own problems with inflammation and so forth, I recommend using something like the natural sweetener, which is called Stevia, S-T-E-V-I-A. I don't own stock in that, and that's actually the scientific name. It's not a brand name. So people can find that at good quality health food stores, and it can come in a small packet, you know, with this dried powder. Uh, maybe a half packet is more than enough sweetener for something like lemon, lemon and water, which we would call lemonade if it tasted good you can do it with that method. So I recommend water as the primary drink, maybe the only drink, including for children. That's what our body is made of, 70% water, and we're, we need to be drinking that pure water. And if you want something sweet, uh, you might want to try stevia, but do stay away from the artificial sweeteners. It's just one more toxic thing that brings down your health. Great, and can you tell people just a little bit more about artificial sweeteners? I mean, what do they actually do in your body, and why are they so dangerous and harmful? Well, the one that um, we, we usually call Splenda is actually one molecule of sugar with three atoms of chlorine attached to it. So it's chlorinated sugar. And as one doctor I know said, you might as well make your own with bleach and sugar. And that sounds kind of radical, but if you think about it, to put something in the body that is chlorine is not good for the body. Uh, aspartame is in a category uh, of its own and has many uh, health complaints uh, filed against it uh, more than any other, uh, most, it's more than uh, most other um, substances in terms of adverse reactions, uh, problems with the central nervous system and the immune system. So I just think it's more prudent to stay with what nature designed for us. And yet we know we're not supposed to do tons of sugar. So I really think aiming our tastes for less sweet tasting, we can change those tastes over time. And then a transition bridge would be something like the natural stevia sweetener. Awesome and great. And are there any resources or books that people could read about uh, these artificial sweeteners to see just you know how harmful they are and learn more about that? There is a, uh, there are quite a few books, and the one that comes to mind quickly is called Excitotoxins by Dr. Russell Blaylock, who's an MD um, and uh, actually a neurosurgeon by training. And he has developed a, a very big interest in disorders of the brain that are so common today, like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. And he talks about it in this book. The title, again, is Excitotoxins, The Taste That Kills. So that's one good starting place. Okay, great. Thanks for your time today. You're welcome.